clients requested that you complete this order as soon as possible. In other words, speed will determine your eval. Keep in mind, however, that when operating outside network coverage, you won't be able to fabricate additional items. You'll need to choose carefully from the equipment provided by the client. Now the clock won't start until you set out. So, take your time to get your gear in order before you do.
SF. Bridges access the delivery terminal. There you are. The Mountaineer just... The treatment I prescribed isn't working. We need... I hope the antibiotics would alleviate the worst of them. An infection like this so late in the pregnancy can cause any number of complications. Even if she survives, there is a risk she could suffer brain damage. Even brain death. Now, I need you to deliver this prototype bioprinter and remote medical terminal to the Mountaineer. If you can connect them to me via the chiral network, I can use this equipment to diagnose the patient's condition and provide treatment. The terminal will allow them to transmit their genetic code, with which I can formulate a DNA vaccine for printing. At present, only vaccines utilizing viruses and other non-living components can be generated in this fashion, but future advancements may free us of this limitation. It should go without saying, but this is delicate equipment. Don't break it, whatever you do. Oh, and, uh, thank you.
Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Activate the terminal from my end. Just, just a moment. Everything's going to be all right. With this device, I, I can examine her as if I were actually there. The manipulators on the terminal perfectly reflect my movements here. And with the bioprinter, I can provide a custom-made vaccine. It's just a shame my better half hasn't had a chance to build any more of these things. You're looking at the only ones we have. Don't worry, though. We'll do everything we can to ensure your child is safely delivered. Oh, thank you. This is... this is incredible. You should thank him. The network he's helping to build is going to change the face of medicine forever. All right. Let's have a look at you. You've brought us the next best thing to a live-in, Dr. Sam. Thank you so much. Nicely done. BB-28 will be back in action soon. The kid's a real trooper. Stay the course, Sam. Heads up, Sam. Got a fresh order for you from a certain mountaineer. It'll take you to a region not yet covered by the chiral network. Suffice it to say, this is a chance to change that. Look into it as soon as you can. Good work. New order available. Please access... You're gonna love power gloves. They provide a major boost to arm and grip strength. If you're scaling a cliff with a rope, you'll be able to make your way to the top a lot faster. You'll also notice a difference when lifting heavy cargo. And that's not all. Ever take a tumble down a steep slope? You probably tried to slow your descent with your hands, right? Well, if you've got these on, you'll be able to stop yourself that much more quickly. Just promise me you won't try punching someone, okay? That's not what they're for.
Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until... You're from Bridges, right? You don't have anything else for me, do you? No? Okay. Never mind. Never thought I'd receive a delivery in such excellent condition. Hey, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And not long ago, I found something, something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for, even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion, someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So, I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery. Took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men and I panicked, dropped everything and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me, but when I stopped running, uh, I realized the camera was gone, case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered that the cargo tag was still on the case. And I figured, you being with bridges and all, that you might have a way to pinpoint its location. Please, I'd give anything to have it back. I'm gonna put in the order. Please understand. That camera means there's a terminal there you can use if you want to get started right away. Here. It's what I'd take if I were going myself. Knock your... Good work. Restrictions lifted.
same without you, kid. Construction complete. Yep, that's enough sitting around doing nothing. cargo. Huh. It looks like someone's carrying it around.
my father's idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. And we were right behind him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, we can't let that happen. So, connect with our work will help. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again. Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contains some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer? They couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind. That it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that AB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more site, that's all we should need. Good luck. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal.
Keep on keeping on. Weapons restrictions lifted.
Five bridges. There's someone we need you to deliver. She's a... She lives even higher up in the clouds than we do. And the research she's doing? Well, it's out there, and then some. And we're talking straight up occult stuff, though she wouldn't be very happy hearing me say so. And she claims she's delving into the mysteries of the cosmos. Anyway, I found this rock out in the mountains with a handprint on it. And when I mentioned it to her, she got all excited. I honestly don't know what kind of close encounter she thinks it signifies. But I was wondering if you could bring it to her for me. And joining the UCA has opened my eyes to a few things. Like how there are all these people out there trying to make sense of the Death Stranding in their own way. And sure, her ideas may sound like the ravings of a lunatic to me, but they clearly mean something to her, and I'd like to help her out. With your assistance, that is. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Sam, it's just like the one at South Knot City. A vortex loaded with so much Chiralium that it's almost off the charts. Slowly but surely, it's creeping closer to us here in Mountain Knot. At least that's what I think, but I can't see it. Not with the naked eye. But the data doesn't lie. It's the same temporal phenomenon that you told me dropped you in a war zone. I told you. Uh, but that wasn't. The Cupid's Limiter can handle most chiral spikes, but we didn't plan for another supercell. Another supercell. I told you it was the same as before. Mama, is that you? You got me, Sam. It's been a while. But not really. Malinga and Machna were the same. One body, one mind, one being. There's no point in trying to draw a distinction. Not in this world. We're all connected. Remember that. Order of time.
Bridges. I've been expecting you. The Mountaineer told me all about you. This handprint you brought me, or stencil as I prefer to call it, is a vital clue. It hails from an era long before the dawn of human history. I'm going to date it and lay bare the cause of the Death Stranding. And when I do, all the secrets of the cosmos shall be revealed. Uh, did you know this mountain used to be a pyramid in ancient times? <laughs> it's true. You won't find a place closer to the beach than this. To the wellspring, a source of untold power. How else do you think that chiral network of yours works? But I digress. Show me the stencil. Thank you. It's an excellent... Connect me to the chiral network. Now I have everything I need to date the stencil. Once I have my results, I'll share them with you and your colleagues at Bridges. You've done a good thing, Sam. If you find anything else, be sure to bring it straight to me. I'll be waiting. You should take this. I'm certain that it will be of use to you in your journey. Until we meet again, my friend. Sam, it worked. BB-28 is in excellent condition. No evidence of lingering attachments or homesickness either. Perhaps its memory was erased after all. All that remains is for you to hook it up and take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but... Uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do, but it's a little more complicated than that. What? We've got a problem. You may have heard about the massive supercell heading right for Mountain Knot City. I left my facility to perform some additional tests on the BB in the field, and now I find myself unable to return. You know the cabin on the mountainside, northeast of Mountain Knot? Let's meet there. Good work. Order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information.
Okay, keep going. Here we go. Come on.
soldiers. The uniforms date back over a century. World War II era, I suspect. Uh, did you see the man leading the soldiers? No. I think it's the guy you told us about. The born and bred warrior asshole who's gunning for BB. He must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip-top shape, just waiting for you. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole. A square tower. Right above my position. Gotcha. I'll find it and search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. <sighs> Fuck me. Right. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Oh no. Hurry the hell up, Sam! Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. You'll lead him straight to you. Oh boy. Not that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death! Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... <sighs> you won't. I'm ending the call. Sam, it's not easy being me. No wife, no children, no friends. And so I sought solace, sought company in the dead. Over time, I made them a part of me. 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. 
You're very special, Sam.
flew. The little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, well then. This is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. So, do you still share memories? I see. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down as you get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. But we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? <sighs> Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Lou, huh? That's a good name.
I was born to fight. Pick up the pace. Where's my baby? My dear.
little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. The child's taking a shine to me. <sighs> you two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. <laughs> Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd had made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A void out. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map leaving nothing but a big crater and him. Because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. 
Take a seat. I told you before about my body. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless meat puppet. No ka, a dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one, BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother, no afterlife, no beach. You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I join bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it. Because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone, anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. Wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded.
there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal.
What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat it last year. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were there. City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I for one would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Malingan special. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all.
Pleasant journey. Have a pleasant journey. Good morning, Sam. Weapons restrictions.
there, man. Administering shock. Stand clear. <laughs> Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time, and search for them, day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing we were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man? It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short.
I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one.
No luck. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21-minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go-around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21-minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21-minute window. All from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst, but the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. 
I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though, even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's straw to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mat floor absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. 